Guys, I'm going to talk to you about my three most intense and very, very long lasting, longest lasting fragrances of 2022 today in this video. I'm going to give you a couple of extra options as well. And one of the extra options is also perfect to layer with these most intense fragrances. So if you're curious to learn about these fragrances, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yeah, I've discovered several fragrances that are uber, uber beast mode and very, very long lasting. You have to have a, a, a palette that's kind of like open to a lot of different styles because these fragrances can go very, very intense and um, they have major lingering power and they are big, big room fillers. So if you like the idea of these kind of fragrances, these are the ones that you need to check out if you're looking for your next beast mode fragrances. So there's three of them that are very, very long lasting. One extra one that's also long lasting, but not as long lasting as the other three. Plus there is a primer that I've discovered from the house of DS and Durga called Leather Eyes that I'm gonna to talk to you about as well. This is the first fragrance I'm gonna to talk to you about. So this is the uh, third fragrance I bought from this house. This is the second primer I bought from this house. For some reason, I tend to gravitate towards these primers. And this is another primer so different than I don't know what their previous primer, which was more fresh and more minimalistic and also musky and also, you know, like, uh, uh, what do you call it, those ambroxan kind of notes and um, molecular notes is what the word is. Here on the other hand with Leather Eyes, it is so intense. It is a room filler, but it doesn't have the longevity as the other fragrances. This is the least longest lasting of all the, the other fragrances I'm gonna talk to you about, but definitely it's used to be a primer for fragrances and uh, it's a leather. Like it's called Leather Eyes, but uh, it's a leather primer and it's meant to be added to other fragrances to prime them, to enhance them, to boost them up. And then also to, you can wear it on your own. And I've, I've worn it, the fragrance by itself. And man, it smells like authentic leather. Like literally this is the most authentic leather I have ever smelled out of any fragrance. Tuscan leather doesn't smell like authentic leather. It smells leathery, but it's not. This is like literal. I've worked in a shoe manufacturing plant with my uncle who is a shoemaker, designer, and things like that as I was a, when I was a young kid. Uh, and I remember that smell. It's a very distinct smell. You can smell the leather and that's what you get with this one. What you have in here, according to the Diaz and Durga website, it's butterscotch leather, cystus labdanum, kubeb, pale oris, cypriol, sap Saffron, vegan castorium, myrrh, and cade. So this is what they have put in this particular fragrance, the Leather Eyes, or I should say uh, Enhancer Primer. This is what it says right on here. It's a fragrance enhancer, basically what it says. And that's what uh, creates the fragrance. So it is uber, uber smoky. It smells like burned leather, basically. Very, very charred. But as I said, it smells like a literal authentic leather. Like if you ever walked into a, a shoe store that sells tons of shoes, like many, many shoes, like walls of shoes and you have lots of leather there and there's that distinct smell, this is what it smells like. It's right here, right in this particular bottle. There's, it's an acquired taste. You gotta be into very, very smoky fragrances. And you also have to be in, in, in the, you know, like into wearing real, real leather. But man, this is really, really, really good on its own. And also as a primer for these beast mode fragrances I'm gonna talk to you about today, but also anything. I think it complements ambers very well. I think it should complement flowers very well. Woods. And the ones I'm gonna to talk to you about here, there's a patchouli fragrance, there's some gourmands in here, works perfectly with it. But as I said, on its own, it smells like real authentic leather. It is intense, it is a room filler. The smell is really, really strong. It's, it's got decent longevity, but not like the other two fragrances. But man, it smells really, really great. I'm so happy I picked this one up. I think it's a fragrance on its own, but perfect as an enhancer as well. So this is the first fragrance I'm gonna to talk to you about. I wanna dig into this house further, more into it, but it seems like I'm buying mostly their enhancers that they keep coming out with. And this is definitely, just like the last enhancer, this is definitely a winner. I bought this recently from Saks, 
over the uh, Black Friday holiday and they were having a discount plus uh, my Rakuten uh, cashback 10%. So I got this for around $200 for 100 ml. I think it's around uh, $300 for the bottle. But either way, Leather Eyes is the first fragrance. I'm going to come back to that in the bonus section and tell you uh, how they uh, are layering or enhancing the fragrances I'm going to talk to you about. But the first fragrance I'm going to talk to you about now is Thomas DeMonico's Raw Gold. So I put this one at the bottom at number four and it's basically, it's really intense. It's a long lasting fragrance, but compared to the other three I'm going to talk to you about, this is not as intense, but definitely has great, great lingering power. It's got a great uh, cloud and a sillage and everything, and it's got the, the great, great projection as well. I like this one because it is pretty intense, but when you compare them to the others, it's not uh, because the other ones are so, so big. But what I like about this one is it's got this light booziness. It's an amber with lots of patchouli. It's kind of resinous and balsamic. It's got a poppinax patchouli. There's honey here. I love that in, about this particular fragrance. The honey really Really stands out. There's suede leather, tonka beans, coffee, civet, and liqueur. So you definitely have a bit of an animalic touch here and you have that presence up top. It smells like a barn. So there's like a bit of a barnyardy effect. It also has this kind of like hay-like quality. So animalic barn kind of comes in. Be careful about that one. If you're not into animalic fragrances, you're going to be turned off by this one. I know some of you, you know, jumped on this and bought it, but I always say, if you're not into animalic fragrances, you don't want to you know, touch this one. You don't want to get close to it. If you don't like honey, because there's definitely that sweetness in here, you don't, want to, you don't want to go near this one. If you don't like patchouli, definitely don't go near this one. If you like all those three things and you like intense fragrances, definitely go through it. I think the sweetness in here from the honey is perfect in the cold, and I like that. I love sweet fragrances because I like to wear fragrances in the cold a lot more than in the heat because the... Um, Sweet fragrances kind of like really smell great when the wind hits my face and I'm wearing something sweet and uh, contrasted with like a patchouli earthiness or something. But a really great fragrance. This is the number four. The other three, as I said, are much more intense. But this has definitely got some intensity. I've heard from you guys. This is really, really intense, really long lasting. And of course it is. That's why I'm featuring it here. So this is the fourth fragrance that I've uh, discovered in 2022 uh, that I feel like is really, really intense. Uh, some of the most uh, intense and longest lasting uh, fragrances. All right, the first fragrance in the top three I'm going to talk to you about is from the House of Narcotica. It's Dulce Diablo, this one right here. So this is uber, uber intense. It's a room filler and it's got this kind of a cloud the way it sprays. Be careful, don't spray it cl close to your mouth or your nose because it goes right in and you can start tasting the fragrance. It's happened multiple times and I've mentioned it in other videos. I was actually doing a sniff session with some family and they sprayed it and they got really, really choked by the, the smell. So it's pretty, pretty potent. It's also very, very long lasting. And if you like gourmands and boozy fragrances that are really long lasting, you've got to check out Dulce Diablo. It features notes of cognac, cacao, sandalwood, rum, dried apricots, chocolate, Madagascar vanilla, fresh apricots, patchouli, gold honey, Tonka Absolute. So it's definitely very, very honeyed. It's definitely very, very ambery and also very gourmand. Booze is very, very prominent when you smell this one. It's uber boozy and it smells very, very like liqueur-like. Kind of reminds me of a holiday liqueur now that we're kind of in the holiday season because of the fruitiness in there from the apricots. And not only do you have the dried apricots, you have fresh apricots and it's a very, very apricot forward fragrance. So you definitely have that presence in there. And then of course there's, there's woods and then then the idea of cacao, because there's that kind of dusting of cacao in here to create for, uh, like, you know, when you go to a chocolate store and they have all these beautiful pralines or ganaches and things like that, you know, chocolate covered fruits and drizzled and dusted and all that kind of stuff. That's what this reminds me of. But it is really, really intense, really, really heavy. Be careful when you spray it. It's a room filler. It's strong. It's intense. Uh, definitely a great holiday beast mode fragrance. Uh, because it reminds me of the holidays, the kind of notes are in here. But either way, Dulce Diablo is the number three of the three really, really the most intense uh, fragrances uh, discoveries of this year. And I'm going to circle back after the outro and tell you how it uh, uh, meshes with Leather Eyes. But the second fragrance at number two, it's Patchouli Magnetic. So this one also 
In comparison to all of them, this one garners me major compliments. I can't believe how much compliments it garners me. And to be honest with you guys, I know this one doesn't have a lot of fans, but it's my favorite of the three red bottled fragrances from Maison Crivelli. I, I just love the way it smells, and uh, I like the fact that it garners me compliments, and it's really, really long lasting. The other two fragrances in this collection, the Amber and the Hibiscus, are not my taste. I don't really crave them or want them. I like them for what they are, but they're definitely not my style. This one, to me, on the other hand, it's patchouli bomb. It's also very, very creamy with gardenia. There's a creaminess from this gardenia note in here, a bit tropical as well. It has patchouli, gardenia, sandalwood, benzoin, white peach, vanilla, leather. You know, there might be that little reminder of black orchid in here a little bit. If you guys like that fragrance, you might want to check this one out because there's that kind of reminder in here of black orchid. But to me, they're different. I find the nuttiness in black orchid, which is not here, to me, this is more very creamy, kind of tropical, humid, hot, intense, really, really long lasting. And again, for me, it garners me compliments. I can't believe the amount of compliments I've received wearing this and not just one a day, but several times a day. And of course, it's also patchouli and I gotta love patchouli fragrances and I love intense patchouli fragrances. So this is really, really long lasting. One of the most intense fragrance discoveries of this year. It's patchouli magnetic from the house of Maison Crivelli. Can't forget that that is also an X-ray de parfum concentration, as is, is uh, Dulce Diablo. And I believe this particular bottle of raw gold is also a parfum concentration. Maybe it's Eau de Parfum, I can't remember. But either way, all very, very intense. And then the last but not least, the most intense discovery of this year, and I believe it's just an Eau de Parfum, is from the House of Kerosene, Followed. Did you guys try this one yet? Man, this stuff is the most intense fragrance I have ever come across in a long, long time. First of all, if you spray this stuff on and it falls on your pants and you don't, you know, if you don't like wash your pants and things like that every day, you hang them up, come back a week later and wear those same pants again, it's gonna be on there and it's gonna smell. That's the first thing about this. It is so damn intense, I can't believe it. Two days after I put it on one time, I went to the gym, I was actually sweating, followed, and my gym trainer said, it smells like maple syrup. It smells like breakfast. I can't believe it. I wore this one night, I slept, came back and slept on my same pillow the following night. It smells like maple syrup. It smelled like breakfast. It is so, so intense and so, so long lasting. And once again, if you spray it in a room, it's gonna be there for a long time. Cause I spray it in my studio. I come back and I smell it the next day, the next day after. So for several days, it's in the room and it doesn't go away. And it also doesn't go away from you. Wash my hands over and over and over and over again. I can still smell it. It kind of stays there, clings on, and doesn't disappear for a long time because as I said, I've washed and washed and washed, it still comes on. Even my gym trainer, two days after the day I wore it, he says, it smells like maple syrup. So it's that intense. It's coffee, cocoa, caramel, maple syrup, vanilla, and amber. It's a follow-up for follow from kerosene. If you haven't caught my video comparing follow to followed, you should go catch it. This is a coffee fragrance in the end, but very, very gourmand with maple syrup. You gotta love the idea of maple syrup. If you don't, this is not going to be it for you. It's a very, very intense. Also, some of you don't like intense fragrances. Some of you don't want your fragrances to last a long time. Some of you want more intimate fragrances. This is not it, guys. This is just got the most massive lingering power. Totally, totally surprising and very, very long lasting. So it has to be the most intense fragrance. I have not come across a fragrance like this in such a long time with its lingering power. And then also two days after, I shower daily, by the way, so two days after I was still sweating this at the gym. So go figure how long lasting it is. I don't know what uh, John Pegg has put in here to make for this much of an intense fragrance, but I wish fragrances were made like this these days because I remember when I first started wearing fragrances, fragrances wouldn't come off of you for days. And I haven't run across anything like that for a long time, but this one, Man, it is so beast mode. You gotta, you gotta try it out. Anyway, guys, that's the last fragrance. The number one, the most intense, the most longest last, I shouldn't say, the, the longest lasting fragrance discovery of 2022. It's followed. Um, check it out if you're into beast mode. That is just major, major 
uber beast mode. And that's about it. Those are the three most intense fragrances with one bonus option and of course Leather Eyes. You gotta check out Leather Eyes. I really love it, but you gotta love smoky uh, leather fragrances to enjoy that one. But if you like it, authentic leather, if you've ever dealt with leather or shoes, created shoes with leather and all that smell that goes into the leather, you will like that one. But either way guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video, please share it, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye. And don't forget, I've got bonus uh, suggestions here for you, uh, layering leather eyes with uh, the other fragrances. All right, glad you stuck around for the bonus uh, suggestions here with Leather Eyes. And I really like the fact that now that you have these intense fragrance suggestions, and if you have them and you end up buying Leather Eyes, you can actually enhance the fragrances as well to make them even more intense. But once again, you gotta be into these fragrances that I'm recommending, because it's not for everyone's taste, right? They're not very conventional fragrances. Um, they're not mass market or mass fragrances. These are kind of very niche fragrances, and that's what I like about them. But if you like that idea and also add more niche to it by leatherizing it, you're gonna come up with some really, really great fra uh, fragrances. Because I tried it with uh, raw gold, so raw gold, as I said, is the least beast mode out of all of these. And for me, when I layered it with uh, leather eyes, so what I did was I sprayed four sprays of raw gold, two sprays of leather eyes, because leather eyes as a smell is strong and really kind of animalic and really, really rubbery, leathery leather. I did not want to dominate the smell of raw gold. So I sprayed four raw gold, two leather eyes, and basically what I got was a fusion of the two. So it gave raw gold the smokiness, the leathery touches, but it contrasted with the sweetness, the honey, the uh, apopanax in here, the patchouli, the civet, the coffee, and of course the liqueur note that's in here. So it made for a really delicious combo. I was surprised how delicious it was, and I like the combination a lot. So on the uh, DS and Durga website, it says it, it you know goes with ambery fragrances, it goes with flowers, it goes with patchouli, and this has a pretty prominent patchouli note. So the layering duo together was perfect and as I said four sprays of raw gold to two sprays of leather eyes man it's a beastly fragrance it is leathery kind of an ambery not gourmand but more like an animalic amber with resins and patchouli kind of a thing really really great combo these two layered really deliciously for me and I like that about it so now moving on to uh, layering it with Dulce Diablo so with Dulce Diablo and the other two fragrances, or these three fragrances, I did four and four, and these fragrances are so strong. Basically, at first, you know, when you first layer this down, the, the, the Dulce Diablo down, and then spray on top with leather eyes, first the leather kind of dominates, and then all of a sudden, Dulce Di Diablo reappears, pretty much dominating for a long time. But eventually, when it's drying down, the leather and its smokiness kind of comes through, basically kind of blending with the Dulce Diablo. So because these three fragrances are so intense, I thought Leather Eyes would be more intense, but sure enough, Dulce Diablo pretty much dominated. But as I said, at the end, towards the dry down of the fragrance, it kind of blended to create this very interesting smell and enhancing the, uh, the Dulce Diablo's gourmand booziness with a fruity apricotiness with some smoky leather thrown in, which I quite enjoyed. I didn't enjoy it as much as Raw Gold. That was just perfect the way it smelled together, but it is definitely very enhanced with leather. So it adds for another extra intensity with the leather. It enhances it with the leather and creates for a leatherier. So it kind of tones down that sweet gourmand, boozy, cocoa, patchouli kind of a honey touch. So it kind of tones that down and enhances it with a little bit of leather, but it took a while for the leather to appear. Once and after initial blast, it disappeared the leather and then it came back towards the end. So that's that one. Now with the patchouli magnetic, another really great combination, really wonderful combination. And as I said, in the leather, for leather eyes on DS and Durga, they mentioned that it layers really well or enhances patchouli really well. Really the great combination, but once again, this one's even more intense than Dulce Diablo. This has um, 
the the initial blast it was four and four again for leatherized but first I layered down the patchouli magnetic first initial blast the leatherized was pretty strong but it disappeared pretty fast because the patchouli magnetic pretty much took over and like took took over and it just dominated the leatherized so leatherized came after the end but I love the combination because this is the uh, patchouli magnetic is all creamy kind of like white creamy milk because of all the notes in here uh, but the leatherized kind of made it more butch kind of added that leather in there that's smokiness in there and then of course it matches the earthiness of the patchouli the combination was really smelling wonderful so this layering combo is really really great if you want to try it but obviously you're gonna have to have both fragrances and once again this patchouli magnetic I don't find a lot of people that enjoy it I really enjoy it I like its intensity I like its creaminess I would say sample first buy samples to try before you buy because this is uh, it's an acquired taste you got to be into this kind of a fragrance but either way Patchouli Magnetic and Dias and Durga's Leatherize are a great, great layering combo. And then finally with Followed, it is so intense that uh, you add the um, Leatherize to it. Quickly for a bit, Leatherize is there and then the maple syrup takes over. Just dominates the Leatherize a lot, a lot. I didn't like this combination as much, but if you want enhancing to do, if you're not happy with how beastly this is, you want to make it more beastly, I think you can do it. It just kind of cuts down the syrupiness for, of the maple syrup and makes it a little smoky and leathery, of course. But I wasn't a fan of the combination because followed is so dense, you don't need to enhance it whatsoever, but you can because it cuts through that uh, molassesiness of this maple syrup and adds the leather and the smoke. Smokiness. So you can do it and you might be into the idea, but I would use caution with this one I think followed is so strong. You don't need to enhance it, but you can uh, just try it see it experiment uh, You can totally enhance it, but I would just do um, uh, Followed by itself, but either way those are my thoughts on what the experiences are with leather eyes and these really really intense fragrances Let me know if you guys try these uh, enhanced, uh, you know editions of these fragrances with leather eyes. I'd like to find out what you guys experience. But either way, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Have a good one. Goodbye.